Did you know that a staggering 30,000 websites are hacked every day? That's right, 30,000. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's a shocking reality that underscores the importance of network security in our increasingly digital world. Each day, countless individuals and organizations become unsuspecting victims of network security breaches. Personal data, sensitive information, and financial details are stolen, leading to a myriad of problems. From identity theft to financial loss, the consequences are grave and far-reaching. And what's more, the frequency and sophistication of these attacks are only escalating. In the past year alone, we've seen a rise in the number of breaches by almost 20%. Cybercriminals are becoming more adept, exploiting the smallest of vulnerabilities in network systems. This isn't just about large corporations either. Small businesses, educational institutions, even private individuals. No one is immune. If you're connected to the internet, you're vulnerable, which means we all have a role to play in network security. But where do we begin? Well, that's where we come in. This series is designed to equip you with the knowledge and skills to understand, and more importantly, to protect your networks. We'll be starting from the ground up, the basics of networking. If you've ever wondered how ethical hackers prevent these breaches, you're in the right place. We'll be exploring concepts like TCP IP protocols, network scanning, and reconnaissance. We'll delve into the fundamentals of network security. By the end of this series, you'll have a solid foundation in networking and be well on your way to becoming an ethical hacker yourself. But remember, knowledge is power only when it's applied. So as we go through these topics, we encourage you to apply what you learn. Experiment, play around, get your hands dirty. That's how true understanding is built. Understanding the basics of networking is key to prevent such breaches. Let's dive deeper into this crucial topic. The backbone of the internet, the TCP IP protocols, may seem complex, but they're not as intimidating as you might think. These protocols are the invisible threads that weave the fabric of our digital world. They ensure that data flows smoothly from one device to another, across networks, and around the globe. So what exactly is TCP IP? Well, it's a suite of communication protocols used to interconnect network devices on the internet. TCP IP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and Internet Protocol. If you imagine the internet as a vast highway system, TCP IP would be the traffic rules and signs that guide data packets to their destinations. Now let's break this down into simple, easy to understand steps. First, data is broken down into packets. These packets are like small parcels of information, each carrying a part of the whole message. The Transmission Control Protocol, or TCP, is responsible for this fragmentation and reassembling of the data when it reaches its destination. Next, these packets are sent over the internet or any other network. This is where the internet protocol or IP comes in. IP is the postman of the digital world. It takes the packets from TCP and delivers them to the right address. But why is this important for ethical hackers? Knowing about TCP IP protocols provides a clear understanding of how data travels across networks. This insight can help identify vulnerabilities and weak spots that malicious hackers might exploit. For instance, if a packet is intercepted during its journey, sensitive information like credit card numbers or passwords can be stolen. With a solid grasp of TCP IP protocols, an ethical hacker can develop strategies to protect these data packets, ensuring they reach their intended destination safely. So, there you have it. The TCP IP protocols demystified. They're not just the backbone of the internet, but also a critical part of network security. A complex system, yes, but not beyond comprehension. Mastering TCP IP protocols is the first step towards becoming an effective ethical hacker. This understanding is your key to safeguarding the digital world. Network scanning and reconnaissance sounds like something out of a spy movie, doesn't it? Yet it's not as far-fetched as it might seem. This process is a fundamental step in the world of ethical hacking, and it's all about understanding the terrain before you dive into the action. So, what exactly is network scanning? In the simplest terms, it's the process of identifying active hosts, computers, servers, or any devices connected to a network. It's akin to a submarine sending out sonar pings to map the ocean floor. Network scanning provides a map of the network terrain, revealing where the devices are and how they're connected. Now let's talk about reconnaissance. This is where things get a bit more detailed. Reconnaissance is like taking a closer look at each individual island on your map. It involves gathering more specific information about each host. 
This could be anything from the operating system it's running, the software installed, or even the type of firewall it's using. Reconnaissance gives you a detailed picture of each host's strengths and weaknesses. You might be wondering, how do ethical hackers use network scanning and reconnaissance? Well, these techniques are used to identify vulnerabilities in a network. By understanding the network's layout and each host's specific details, an ethical hacker can pinpoint weak spots that could potentially be exploited by less ethical counterparts. Think of it like this. If a network was a fortress, network scanning and reconnaissance are the processes of sketching the fortress layout and studying its defenses. This understanding is crucial for ethical hackers who need to know where to focus their efforts to strengthen the fortress and protect it from attacks. So, whether you're an ethical hacker or simply interested in network security, understanding network scanning and reconnaissance is crucial. It's not just about finding vulnerabilities, but about understanding how a network operates, its strengths, its weaknesses, and how best to protect it. As an ethical hacker, network scanning and reconnaissance are essential tools in your arsenal. Now that we've understood the basics of networking and reconnaissance, let's delve into the fundamentals of network security. Network security is the practice of protecting a network and its services from unauthorized access, alteration, or destruction. It's a multi-layered defense strategy that includes both hardware and software solutions. At the heart of network security is the concept of confidentiality, integrity, and availability, often referred to as the CIA triad. Confidentiality ensures that sensitive information is accessible only to authorized individuals. Integrity maintains the consistency and accuracy of data, while availability ensures that resources are accessible to authorized users when they need them. So how does an ethical hacker fit into the picture? Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, use their skills to find and fix security vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by malicious hackers. They are the guardians of the network, the cyber knights, if you will, who use their powers for good. One of the key tasks of an ethical hacker is to conduct regular security audits. This involves testing the network for vulnerabilities, identifying potential threats, and implementing solutions to mitigate these risks. They may employ tactics like penetration testing, also known as ethical hacking, to simulate attacks and expose weak points. Another critical aspect of network security is the implementation of strong access control measures. Ethical hackers can help design and enforce policies that restrict access to sensitive information, ensuring only the right people have access to the right data at the right time. Lastly, an ethical hacker plays a crucial role in creating a culture of security within an organization. They can provide training and awareness programs to educate employees about the importance of network security and the role each person plays in protecting the network. In a world where cyber threats are rapidly evolving, the role of an ethical hacker in network security is more critical than ever. They are the frontline defense against cyber attacks, tirelessly working to ensure the safety and integrity of the network. Remember, as an ethical hacker, your role is to protect, not to exploit. We've covered a lot of ground today, and you're well on your way to becoming an ethical hacker. We've delved into the shocking reality of network security breaches, breaking them down to understand their complexity and scope. We've untangled the web of TCP IP protocols, shedding light on how they form the backbone of internet communication. Together, we've explored the art of network scanning and reconnaissance, an essential skill set for any ethical hacker. We've also laid down the fundamentals of network security, understanding the need for robust systems to protect our digital world. Let's not forget that this is just the beginning. The world of ethical hacking is vast and ever-evolving. It's a field where continuous learning is not just a luxury, but a necessity. With every new technology, every new protocol, every new security measure, there's a new challenge for ethical hackers. But remember, every challenge is an opportunity for growth and innovation. The journey to becoming an ethical hacker is not a straight path. It's a winding road filled with exciting discoveries, frustrating roadblocks, and rewarding breakthroughs. But with perseverance, curiosity, and a thirst for knowledge, you can master the art of ethical hacking and play a crucial role in safeguarding our digital universe. Remember, ethical hacking is not just about understanding the technology. It's about understanding the mindset of those who seek to exploit it. It's about thinking one step ahead, anticipating potential vulnerabilities, and finding innovative solutions to secure them. So, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what you think is possible.
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Together, we can make the digital world a safer place.